Welcome to another episode of Minecraft, guys. I am in a Your Minecraft Creation... Creation? <laughs> um, this is Alex is Your Man's world he sent to me. Um, it might have been a server, because it says, world. Welcome to my server. Please follow the rules. Um, but let's just jump in. Uh, I have two Minecraft, uh, Your Minecraft Creations for this episode. But I'll get to the next one after I get through this. Uh, here is his little town that he built, or, well, I assume he built it because most of them say Alex. Except for this one, <laughs> Jake's floor. And then other people's floor, unoccupied. So this is kind of like an apartment complex. simple but effective. Here, <laughs> uh, my texture pack makes it look funny. That is lapis lazuli, so that would be blue. And then in here, so a town hall made by Ox. This would be gold and iron. Nothing furnished in here, but I'm sure it would look nice with some furnishings in there. Here we have a brick house which is actually the library. Need some chairs or just a couch right there. Or a table so you can check out. Um, oh, there's a little dock over here. And kind of a lighthouse. It's a it's more of like a burning pyre in the sky. I think it's glowstone? Yeah, glowstone, brick, and netherrack. <laughs> Interesting choice. Here we have his tower. My only complaint with this is it's very small, so each floor is only this big. If you had made it just even like double this, it would have been a little bit more comfortable. There's bedrooms up there, there's all sorts of stuff. He has a wolf down here. I won't go all the way up because it's kind of tedious to go up and, and all the way back down. But it looks cool with the alternating single window and then double And there is a fountain outside of the diner. So you have these tables and then where you'd pick up your food. Um, oh, there's something upstairs. Ooh. Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's what I hate about ladders placed in weird places. But you have a dining area on top of the roof as well. Let me down. All right. And if we go over here, Miller's Lair, you have the guest bedroom, which isn't much, just beds. And over here we have the master bedroom, which is kind of weird. You have a fountain chandelier thing in the middle, and you have the bed inside a big, this would be gold, a big gold area with cake surrounding it. Um, he really likes to eat. Oh, and a nice... Oh, that looks kind of cool. So, glass with the water over it, and then the water falls down. And if you go over here, you can climb up to a very tall tower. I won't go all the way to the top, I'll just come out here. But that goes all the way up there, and that is it. For this side, anyway. Um, so, interesting little town. Uh... <laughs> It needs some houses and stuff, but a good start. We will go, um, I'm going to skip this part because there's a little bit of a walk to the next part, so I'll catch you in a second. Alright, we are approaching his castle and house. It's on the opposite side of that town that's over there. But this may look a little familiar. If you saw my server update video, um, I'm not sure which one. The It's Amazing has built a similar um, castle. This is actually the Shadow Cave, I believe. I, I don't watch him, so... But I think it's the Shadow Cave's build and idea. And I'm sure many people have tried this out and copied his idea. So I will give credit to him, but good job on building this. 
it's very nice and large. Um, but this design kind of always makes me feel like it's missing something. It it needs towers on all four corners. And your design is a little bit off since the tops of the towers aren't quite even. Sorry, I gotta be a critique here since you're copying someone else's. Well done though, you got the library there, the reed farm there, oh, that's the top. Oh no, it's not. Let me up. Ah. Alright, and you have a bedroom here with a balcony, well you can access the balcony here, so there's the towers. And you have another bedroom on each side and if you go up here's just empty area probably could have done something here and then you have the top of the tower which is off as well the side is two and those are one I don't know symmetry it needs to be symmetrical um, bothers me otherwise all right so here's this castle um, we'll drop down I'm on peaceful All right. Now we can go check out his house. Oh, there's a sign over here. What is that? Follow the trail of light for some more cool stuff. Ooh, we will get to that after this. All right. Here is his house. You've got an interesting design. Um looks like a balcony over there and well looks like a balcony on the second floor and um, made of wood you have the bedroom over here simple but effective and like I said if you go up here you got this balcony on the top of the roof and then if we go downstairs you have the incinerator with trash can of death. Don't fall in. Some idiot fell in and it once, so we had to put a sign up. <laughs> um, I kind of think that idiot might have been him. Shh, don't tell anyone. You have a little library here. Um, some storage there. And a kitchen, I believe. With a little table. Small and functional. All right, and then if we go back here, well, over here is the pool. There's a nether portal over there. You have the greenhouse where it would have wheat. It looks nice, I'll, I'll give it that. That is interesting looking farm. Um, I'm not, I think this is a tree house of some kind kind of weird and I can't get up oh well I'm sure it's amazing so you have a tree house up there lots of glass all right um I will cut wait hold on a second oh his farming shack um so you can keep all his farming tools and reeds and wheat and all that stuff in there um, we will follow this light uh, I will cut to when I get to the end of it I see something on the horizon <laughs> um, looks like he built an interesting little shack or housey housey <laughs> a housing over here orange and red very nice checkerboards a little overused but it still looks good and upstairs balcony and <coughs> and <laughs> oh my gosh voice cracks are annoying I'm grown and oh and we fail oh and a bed up here interesting looks nice I enjoy this one a little bit more than the others 
Sorry if this wasn't your favorite. I really like this one. Um, how do we get up there? <laughs> All right, I made it. That was quite the trek. I I went the wrong way. Um, <laughs> and here is this nice little luxury uh, lookout house. I would say you've got a very nice view. Let me go to bed real quick, make sure there's nothing else I'm missing in the dark. <laughs> Wait for the light to come in. Um, Alright. Oh, there's some wolves I passed. Oh. It looks a little bit lo bigger than I thought it was. Oh, I was just seeing it as a square. Uh, anyway. Well, that is his creations. Um, he's got a couple of shacks randomly. But... Thank you for sending that in. Um, we'll go to Gaming Indie, I believe. Here we are. Um, it's a test world of some kind. And you have a pavilion over here with a fire pit. Nicely designed. And the start of a castle-like structure. Or maybe it's finished, I'm not sure. It has a fountain inside it. With a squid, of course. What's a fountain on a test world without a squid? Whoa! Looks like he plans on fending off hordes of enemies up here. Oh yeah, this is the test, uh, the texture pack world. This is another one of Tykan's worlds. I'll show you that in a second. I can just glance over it. Um, we have a fountain over there, and then here's this house. Kind of an odd choice of roof. And the house is all built on half blocks. So you're a half step up, and then you have to step up into each doorway. Kind of weird. I would have chosen differently, but hey, you want to? Why not? So that was the bathroom, <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. And over here, we have a large room. Um, here's a little sign here, 4x Pro KX, to show how good a co of a commentator he is. Thanks for talking with the community. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of community he's talking about, but I'm happy to do these. Um, we have a little bar over here. Is there a sign? <laughs> I know, chess floor, whatever. Since I've commented on the checkered floors being a little bit overrated. <laughs> nice. Um, the TV with a odd couch. I guess that's about right size for us. Kind of have to hop up onto it. And we have a garden over here. Well, the farming area right there. Just a small one. And a place to sit and stare at each other. Um, not sure you could do anything else in there. Uh, funny. Um, sitting room, sitting room of some kind. And then a weird hallway that leads to the bedroom. With a nice view of the pavilion and slightly snow-covered world. And the bed is in the floor. Kind of cool. Interesting house. I don't think I've seen anything like it. And let me grab a... Qu oh, thank you for sending this in. And thank you for the nice notes. Um, I enjoyed those. I'll glance over the Tykin's little test world thing. So he has test worlds that are just... He has a bunker with stuff in them and then a flat world. And this is his texture pack world. So you can go over and check out all your textures in a texture pack. Um, so like there's all the ores, all the wool, nether material, except where's obsidian? Uh, well that's a great texture world. Oh, is that? Oh, I don't know why it's over there. I think obsidian should be with all the nether materials, not dirt. Yeah. 
not my choice of layout. Um, we have trees over here with mushrooms under them. Um, it's just kind of fun to see all the textures in a neatly arrayed room. And you can just check them out easily by going along this glass roof. That one's bugged. Um, wow. I've spent too long on this. So you've got the textures over here. You've got some furniture examples over here. Um, I've seen most of them. Looks like he needs to add a few. Or my, maybe he has. This might be an older world since... <laughs> You guys have sent me a lot of uh, creations and things, and I have not been able to get to them in a timely manner. Um, so this one was sent to me, well, both of these, Alex is your man and Gaming Indie, sent these a while ago. Um, sorry for taking so long. But that is the end of the video. I will put up links to their channels. But I would, I'm sorry to say that this marks, well, not this episode. But right now, as of now, I will not be accepting any more Your Minecraft creation submissions. Um, I have a bunch that I will get through. I will go through all the ones I have currently, so don't worry about that. But if I get any submissions for Your Minecraft creations after today, I will not accept them. Um, because this is not a, a, an, a totally bad thing. I am going to start up contests, um, building contests, and just contests in general. Hopefully you guys will participate and enjoy these. I will do some of the classics like just world contests, so send me your world and I'll critique them and pick my top three. That's how I will probably do all of them. And for these contests, the prize um, should be... I think, um, yes. I will do a week of free time on my server. So, all the winners will receive the IP address and a week of their choosing because sometimes you may not be able to be on very often and I don't want to give you a week when you're going to be gone that week for vacation or something. So, a week of your choosing. You'll have to notify me of that. Um, but I will send you a p.m. with the details and uh, you can come on build and um, decide for yourself if you want to stay on but you'll have a week of free time which is plenty of time to leave your mark on my server <laughs> um, so to speak I um, hope you guys will enjoy this contest bit um, but I had to stop the your minecraft creations in order to do so because your Minecraft creations take up quite a bit of my time since I have to go through all of them. So as of now, I will not be accepting any more, but I will be doing contests. So look forward to those, and I will see you in the next episode, which will be a Let's Build episode. Thank you guys for watching.